So I had a conversation with my son last night as we were traveling back from his baseball game. He's a good player and he loves ball, but he struck out both times yesterday and we had a really tough conversation. He cried and cried and he felt really bad about it. And I asked him why and he mentioned that he didn't word it exactly this way, but he talked about how he feels like there's pressure because generally he is such a good player. So making mistakes and not correcting the things that he's been told to correct. He kept expressing how he felt like he was a loser. And of course this surfaced a lot of stuff inside me going back to when I was in sports and athletics. I felt really bad whenever I made a mistake because I felt like it defined me. So I tried really hard to let it percolate in my brain what I needed to say to him. And I, it made me think of the book about the little puppet that had all the stickers on him and then he decided to just peel the stickers off. They were all the gold stars or the um, dots that I think they were called the Wickhams put on him. So if he had something cool or if he did something cool or if he was special in any way, he got a gold star, but if he wasn't, he got dots. Anyway, so I decided to talk to him about that and about labels. And it, hi. And it turned into us talking about how some of the most harmful labels that we can slap on our kids are the good ones. Can you say hi? Hi. So if, if your kid excels in something and he is known for being the very best at something, then what happens when he has a bad game where he strikes out twice? It just it made him believe in his head last night Mom. that his value was Mom, less because of that. I'm almost done on sec. And so it's just, it's got me thinking about all of the athletes that we have in our community, in my community. I'm almost done, Nora. That feel this way where they, right now, they have s such a good season or such a good game and that's what they're known for. And the essence of the game diminishes when they are so focused on kind of keeping that stereotype of being the best or that label of being the best, the essence of the game is lost and the love of the game is lost because they're worried about that so much. So it's just kind of got me thinking about those labels that we stick on our kids. Being good at something or not so good at something. Why don't we just stop sticking these labels all over ourselves and our kids? I think it will help remind us that the things that we are working on and that we're trying to learn how to do are solely for the purpose of our joy and excelling in something for ourselves rather than doing it for the people in the stands, especially our parents sometimes who live vicariously through us, which is common and I think that as parents, we all do it at some point, but it really can be harmful and it takes away the fun and the excitement and the joy of the things that we love. So I just wanted to share that and kind of reflect on what I can do to help my kids when they're working on becoming great at something, but remembering what it's for and what it's not for.